Buenos dias from Costa Rica. We got in pretty late last night and we woke up this morning, didn't really know what to do, just booked a last minute coffee tour. So we've got to get going and commence the humidity hair. It's about to get real. <laughs> now we got here really really early didn't realize that we were only like literally two minutes from our hotel to the airport got myself weighed with my bag so that was a new one we're flying a very tiny plane to Puerto Jimenez which is in the southwest of Costa Rica yeah I can't wait because I feel like now the vacation is really starting we're going to Corvocado National Park so really excited I've got a few tours planned and booked. Yeah, this will be a very interesting, very short, I think it's like a 45 minute plane ride. So we just checked into our place. We're at Botanica in Puerto Jimenez. It's a Hilton resort. And we've just got like a standard room, but it's really, really nice so far. This resort is in a rainforest, but they tore down like the least amount of trees and vegetation as possible. So as you're walking around, you're still like surrounded by rainforest. And if you wanted to look at other parts of the resort, you can't really see it. Everything's behind trees. So I think that's really, really cool. I'll show you our view already seen a few birds and stuff and I think I will really enjoy sitting here watching that. Unfortunately we don't have a balcony which that would be really really great to have but that's okay. We at least have this huge window where we can move our chairs over here and still look out with our morning coffee. So this is the map for our resort and when we checked in the receptionist told us basically all these nature trails that we can go on and this is one of the reasons why I booked this one. So over here we can possibly see some macaws which actually we saw some macaws as soon as we landed which was awesome but I couldn't take any pictures because just they flew by so quickly. And then there's some butterflies over here and he said that there might be a chance to see some monkeys and sloths. And then also this one, you might be able to see some crocodiles. So we're now just going to enjoy a coffee, looking out at the view, and then we're gonna go and start exploring. And hopefully we'll hit all of those trails today and see some cool stuff. <sighs> so I just went to um, a building nearby and there was a staircase up to the top of the building. I thought that might be a good place to just kind of look and maybe see some birds. And then as soon as I got up here, there was a whole family of monkeys. Oh, wow, how pretty. And I'm probably gonna get really sick of myself saying this over and over again, but man, this is just so exciting. I, um, I'm renting this absolutely gigantic lens. Like to me, I normally don't shoot with a lens this big. I'm learning in my photography and videography. I was just sitting there just practicing and getting um, some shots of this family of monkeys. And I don't know the species yet. I'll identify. I know there's three species of monkeys here. So one down already which is good because we've only been here for like an hour <laughs> really looking forward to exploring the rest of the property and getting some more shots Bright and early. It's 5.30 and we're going on a bird watching tour. Yes, I have become one of those that wakes up early to watch birds. 
I never would have thought I'd become this person, but here I am in my 30s, getting up at 5.30 on vacation to go watch birds. And I'm so excited. Really, really want to see a macaw. I want to see toucans and hummingbirds. Those are my, those are my three birds that I really want to see. So we're walking to the lobby right now to go meet our guide. Yee. I'm talking to you on the camera that I didn't bring with me bird watching. <laughs> Got my huge zoom lens that I rented and had plans that I was going to bring that obviously on the bird watching tour this morning and take loads of awesome pictures of all the birds we saw. And then last night as I was going to bed, I was flipping through the camera and like deleting this, um, the pictures that we did yesterday and I was kind of going through them. And then I just left the camera on the side. I had all my lenses in my bag. So when we went for the bird watching tour, I had only lenses and no camera. Unfortunately, I didn't get any pictures, but we did see a load of birds. Um, I'm gonna put them all on my Merlin app, uh, the tour guide that went with us, he was great. He's gonna send me an email with all of the birds that we saw. Definitely my favorite, which is probably the most like iconic bird of Costa Rica, or one of them, is the scarlet macaw. It was just so beautiful, I love macaws. To be honest, they were so far away that even my, my huge zoom lens probably wouldn't have been able to catch anything. Yeah, kind of disappointed in myself that I left my camera here, but that's okay. Um, thankfully, I will not make that mistake when we go to Corvocado National Park. I'll make sure I have all of my camera gear because I'm definitely getting footage if we see a sloth. Hopefully we'll see some sloths. I will definitely be getting some footage then, but until then you can enjoy this random footage that I have of the few things that I caught on my phone. <laughs> Good morning. Walking to the pier right now so we can meet our boat and go to Corvocado. Corvo. Corcovado. That was it. Corcovado National Park. This is the day I've been waiting for. It's gonna be a long day. Yeah, really, really excited for this tour. Really, really hope we see some sloths. Love to see some kind of a jungle cat or something, but. I'm not going to ask for too much. It's nature. You never know what you're going to get. It's been a hot and humid morning as it's been the whole time we've been here. But this is such a cute little town. Puerto Jimenez. I really feel like we've gotten like the best of Costa Rica. Staying here. It's a really authentic little town. The wildlife has just been incredible. Gotta go catch up Dominic now. He's leaving me. <laughs> Good evening. We are back at the hotel. It was a really exhausting day today. I don't think I've ever sweat that much in my entire life. We saw a lot of wildlife today and I will explain everything that we saw tomorrow. Until then, good night. Buenos dias. We're having a morning walk, looking at all the different wildlife around the property. We've seen some white-faced monkeys this morning, lots of birds, um, some macaws, some parrots. I love this property. So anyway, we'll go over what we saw yesterday at Corvocado National Park. So yesterday, woke up, had some breakfast, and then we walked over to the dock in Puerto Jimenez and met our guide, Miquel, um, from Selva Connection. That was the company that I booked the tour through. We had about an hour and a half boat ride. Um, you can't do the national park unless you have a guide with you. So everything was guided and within literally like five minutes of us arriving, we saw some sloths, which was just amazing. And not only did we see sloths, but we saw sloths mating. And the female sloth was making some interesting noises. As we were looking at the sloths, our guide just said, oh, turn around, there's a bunch of coatis. I mean, there was probably about 20 of them just digging through the 
digging in the ground for different crabs and insects and things. Let me start by saying that this entire day that we were there, it was so hot, so humid. I don't think I've ever sweat that much in my entire life. And I felt like I was just constantly drinking water and not needing to use the bathroom, probably TMI but it was ridiculous how hot and humid it was, even though we were in shade the entire day. I mean, I was wearing like a linen shirt the entire day and I think it honestly like soaked through. And right before we go to the place where we start eating lunch, there was an anteater in the tree. And to be honest, that was not on like my Costa Rican bingo card. I did not think we would see an anteater. So that just completely shocked me that we we're about to turn the corner to go to the path to eat lunch and there's just an anteater in the tree So that was absolutely incredible. Definitely something that I did not see coming <laughs> So then we had lunch and it was a it was a really typical Costa Rican lunch. It was beans rice chicken um, salad and also had some guava juice, which was really nice. It was kind of like at the lodge where you stay, so people can also do overnight treks, and they can, st and you can stay overnight and stay at this uh, lodge with your guide. And I think that's definitely something we're gonna look into for next time, because the amount of wildlife that we just saw on about the six hours that we spent there was just incredible. We spent the entire lunch basically talking about birds with the guide because he's a birder as well. So afterwards he was showing us a lot of the different birds. On top of that, um, he pointed out in a log a gigantic boa constrictor. I couldn't take any video of it, but it was, I mean, I'm talking the body was like this big. It was, it was unbelievable, like that it was just sitting there in a log that close to us. He also pointed out some owls and I told him at lunch that I've never seen owls because I just can't spot them very well. I hear them, but I can never really see them. And as we were leaving, he was able to point out some owls to us that were taking a rest and it was just so cute and adorable to see. And I don't think I got any videos because they were kind of behind a bunch of leaves and it was really difficult to see them. It was really awesome to, uh, to get to see owls for the first time. And then the last thing that we were able to see just as we were leaving, he wanted to take us to the beach to try and find tapirs. And as we were going to the beach, we saw a lot more like water birds. We saw um, some crocodiles. We also saw a little baby crocodile that was only about, I don't know, maybe three feet long at the very most. So I came back to the rooftop in our hotel because there was this guy with a leaf blower. It was so loud. And it was just really annoying. Came back to the room just to kind of say how it ended. Essentially, the guide took us to the beach um, in order to find a tapir, and we did. Although the tapir was like kind of hidden in the mangroves and it was having like a little nap, I mean, I don't blame it. It was honestly the hottest part of the day. So I didn't really get to see his face very much because his butt was kind of towards us, but we did see a tapir. I know that there's a lot of animals that I'm missing. I'm sure there are. At the end of the day, once you know we got back on the boat and we were heading back to Puerto Jimenez, there were just so many animals that we saw and we were only there for about like five hours, six hours looking around. And it just was amazing to me, all the wildlife that we were able to see. I mean, we were able to see toucans as well, which I love seeing them. They're really fun to watch. We saw a couple different species of monkeys. And like I said, I know that there's definitely something that I'm missing, but it was just absolutely incredible. All the wildlife that you can see in Costa Rica. It's definitely a place that's going to be special to me. It's Costa Rica is somewhere that I've been wanting to go for at least the last 15 years or so. Like since the idea of foreign travel became like accessible to me, it's definitely a place that I've always wanted to go. And to finally be able to come here, it's just been amazing. It's been everything I've expected it to be. I've really, really enjoyed our time here. I've enjoyed all the wildlife and I love being able to just to walk out of our room like we did this morning and be able to see so much wildlife within a short distance of where we're staying. I thought that my favorite Costa Rican dish before we came out here was going to be rice and beans. It's these pezzicones, I hope I'm saying that right. It's basically like fried smashed plantain. And then you have all these like accoutrements that go with it. And it is absolutely delicious. I don't know why just a bunch of fried plantains is so delicious, but this is absolutely my favorite dish in Costa Rica so far. And I'm gonna miss them already. <laughs>
like getting away from people. As you can see here, I'm like the only one walking along the beach. I don't really know what it's like in normal like resorts because I'm not really like a beach resort kind of vacation person, you know? So I really don't know how it normally works, but I feel like this one is just so quiet. Unfortunately, the beach is not great for snorkeling because we tried to snorkel earlier. We were able to see a few fish, like a few crabs, and then these little sea snail things, but it was fine. It's nice like going snorkeling anyway, even if there's no coral reefs here. I don't normally do very well with like these chilling out vacations. In fact, I think this might be the first one that I've ever actually planned to kind of relax. But the reason I picked this, this place is because I feel like I don't mind relaxing because part of the relaxing part is that we can just walk out of the hotel like, you know, 40, 50 steps and already start seeing wildlife. In fact, we've seen a lot of wildlife from our hotel room, which is- Yeah, so I mean, the reason I booked this resort is just because there's so much wildlife on the property and it's so diverse. I mean, we've seen crocodiles at this beach club, actually. We've seen macaws everywhere. I was able to stand there and watch this tree, this family of macaws for like about five minutes and they were just sitting there eating figs off of the fig tree and it's just, it's such a cool resort. This resort is a lot more like my style because it's not just here's a beach and a cocktail, although I did do some of that today. But it's not just here's a beach and here's a cocktail. It's like here's all these nature trails. If you want to see wildlife, this is where you can see it. Really, really enjoyed our time here. Definitely would come back here again. So sadly, we have checked out of our room. It is our last half day in Costa Rica. And we're going to Puerto Jimenez Airport in about two hours. And that's the airport that's right next to the resort. So we just check in for a flight here. And then about 20 minutes before the plane is ready to leave, then we just get the shuttle and take it over to the airport. So that's really nice that we can at least spend the last couple hours just looking out into the rainforest. Also, last day for humidity hair. That's nice. <laughs> Looking forward to having my sleek hair back because uh, this, this is getting wild. My first trip to Costa Rica was everything I expected it to be. I've thought about this trip for a really long time and so it's been amazing to finally make this happen and bring this to fruition. The amount of wildlife that we've seen. I didn't expect to see crocodiles. I didn't expect to see anteaters. I was thinking that it might be a little bit of a struggle to find macaws, but here on the Osa Peninsula, it's just had everything we've needed. And I understand why Nat Geo called it um, the most, one of the most biodiverse places on earth, because it really has been. And we haven't really had to go that far to see all the biodiversity. So it's been a fantastic trip. And I'm sad to see it go, but for now, I'm just gonna sit here, look out, hopefully see some more birds and uh, enjoy our last few hours in the Osa Peninsula in Puerto Jimenez. So after our bird watching tour this morning, Whoa, there's macaws. Oh no, right there, they're gonna fly over. Oh my god. Hi, I got him. <laughs> oh man, I gotta, I gotta stop this video now and see if I got him. Dominic's gonna be in the background just making loads of noise apparently. <laughs> That's what he does. And as we checked in, are you serious? Um. Are you serious? Oops. And this is where Dominic died in Costa Rica. R.I.P. 
You were so not helpful. <laughs> Are you in the video? <laughs> <laughs> you two to do two at a time. The initiative was there. Execution, not so much. We'll cut that bit out. <laughs>